Welcome back to another episode. In this video, I want to go over how to create strong passwords for your WordPress powered website, but also how to create strong passwords for your overall online accounts and why you should have a very uh, strict password uh, policy for your online accounts and for your websites. All right, so to get started, what I want to do is um, show you what we're going to talk about here. So I'm going to go over towards my document here. Now we're talking about strong passwords, obviously, and I recommend that you use a password manager. You should create unique passwords for each website. You shouldn't use dictionary words and passwords should be over 14 characters. Uh, the character mix should be uh, should include uppercase characters, lowercase numbers, special characters and symbols. Now examples of a weak password are something like this my secret dash three now you think it has it's strong because it has an uppercase has two uppercase letters it is multi letter multi character has a special character and a number right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten characters in that password so you think it's pretty strong I'm going to show you why it's not and then the example of a strong password is something like this so this is a strong password that will be very difficult to break now let's let me introduce you to a website that can demonstrate how strong your passwords are i'm just going to copy this one here to go back to my browser now i'm using this online tool by kaspersky um, you can check it out by going to password dot kaspersky.com and as you notice in the top it says never enter your real password you just shouldn't even though it's a reputable company you know you shouldn't put your real password in there so you can you know create a version of a password that is somewhat similar to yours um, if you want to test it out uh, things of that nature so I'm going to paste in that password my secret um, the password that I created there into this field now it measures the difficulty and how long it would take to brute force the password. So you see the results here. It says five months, right? So you think that's pretty decent. I mean, it's again, it's 10 characters long. It's um, uppercase, lowercase, has a special character and a number, right? So let's take a look at the results if we scroll further down. So by using an older computer, one from the 1980s, it would take about five centuries. So that's pretty good. People who have a uh, computer like a MacBook Pro 2012 or something similar in terms of spec uh, on the computer, it would take about five months as we noted up here. But what we really need to be worried about are what's called botnets. It would take a botnet about nine minutes to crack that password. And if somebody's using a supercomputer, obviously they would have to have access to it. But if they were, it would take about four seconds. So what you really want to be concerned about are... Uh, people using a botnet to um, try to brute force their way into your website or online accounts. So even though you have 10 characters in that password, it still can be broken into relatively quickly. So now let me take a look at the other password that I created as an example. I'm going to go back to my document here. I'm going to copy this password here. Copy it. Go back to the demonstration here so let's take a look at the results now so with this password it would take 10,000 plus centuries not 10,000 centuries 10,000 plus centuries so more than that and that's using again a 1980s computer even using a 2012 MacBook Pro or a similar type uh, computer or laptop even a botnet would take over 10,000 plus centuries and even the world's fastest supercomputer will also take over 10,000 plus centuries so that password is significantly more secure so the question it really becomes how can you remember that password right so it's obviously let's count those characters it's one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, so it's 32 characters long. 
It's not using a dictionary word. Now, the reason why dictionary words are so bad to use is because obviously a botnet and a you know hacker is potentially using what's called a, a rainbow table or a dictionary attack. And what it does, it pretty much goes through all the words in a dictionary. And with modern computing and with botnets, that's something very easy to do. So by not using a dictionary word, by using multi-character, 32 characters, and using you know them in random order, you make it very difficult, virtually impossible for it to be brute force attacked. Um, now, the thing is, again, you can't remember this, hence why I recommend using a password manager. Password managers make it very easy for you to manage your passwords and to institute password policies that will help you ensure the security of your online identity. And as you can see by using that tool, this website here, we are able to determine that our password is extremely strong. All right, so. Now, how do you create strong passwords? Well, you can just start, you know, pounding away on your keyboard, making sure to use multiple characters, copy that into your password manager and take it from there. If you want to use an online tool, you can go to identitysafe.norton.com and to their forward slash password dash generator URL. And then you can create a password here. So the maximum length of a password that they enable, allow you to create is 32 characters in length. And then you get to choose the options you want. So you can choose include letters, mixed case, numbers, punctuation, and no similar characters. And then you can do that. So once you click generate, it gives you the password there. You can copy that. And now let's just test that out again here. And as you can see, again, the results are the same. It would take an insane amount of time for that password to be brute force attacked. All right, so these are two tools that you can use to determine the strength of a password that you currently use or a variation of it since you shouldn't input any of your real passwords here, just a version, something you know, similar um, in terms of length and things of that nature. Um, it gives you the details on how long it would take to brute force to attack that password. And then this is a tool to create a password uh, for your for your site. So one password manager that I recommend you use, or actually a few that you can use, are one password, and you can take a look at their site, one, the number one, password.com. And this is a good password manager to try out. It's very well reviewed and it has uh, support for your all the operating systems as well as for your smartphones and tablets. You can also try Dashlane, which is a great uh, password manager as well. And LastPass also, which is also another really good password manager for you to check out. Um, they have a lot of features. You can try them out for free. Some of them have premium uh, services as well. Actually, the, all three of these have premium services. Uh, to go along with their free offerings, uh, but you could use on the for the last pass and for the dash lane, you can use their free version um, pretty much forever without any issues. You just won't have be able to sync them uh, within the browsers and uh, store them in your on your various devices and have them sync. So one password, I do not believe they have a completely free option, but they do have a six month free trial. So that's pretty good to, to choose to check out. But these three password managers are really good options for you to review. All right, so if you already have your WordPress powered website, you already have your user account. Let's say you have a very weak username. So you see here, I'm using a demo for my username here, right? This is a username you should not use because it's something that's common. Now, when a hacker or botnet is scanning websites, they typically scan for the well-known username um, and passwords. So here is a list of usernames you should not use. Uh, don't use any of these usernames, something like admin or anything that includes your domain name, administrator, demo, editor, author, login, support test user username or anything that is easily identifiable. So that way it'll be a lot more difficult for you, for your website to get hacked. If you're using a unique username that 
is not used on other sites or is something that is you know extremely difficult to figure out then you you make your website that much safer so the question is how do you change your username well these are the steps you're going to create a new admin account in uh, your wordpress website then you log out and then you log in with the new admin account and then you delete the old admin user so let's go through these steps here i'm going to go here so we see that we have our my current username and I only have one user on the demo site here one administrator user look at the profile again and then you so you see that right so first thing you notice also I'm only using the display name publicly as this versus this because obviously if you have it like this then people will know that that's the username so I have it like set up like that so now if you want to add a new user you just click on add new username so you can make it something that's easy for you to remember but difficult for others uh, to remember so i'm just gonna punch out a bunch of random um symbols there and then i'm gonna put a fake email address since this is obviously a test account a local server and i'll just put my name again if you want to do that if you want to we're not going to email that out you can show the password here so this by default WordPress will create a very strong password uh, for you. Now let's test the strength of this. All right, so we're going to copy that. We go back to our sample website here, and we're going to see that again this password would take a crazy long time, you know, for for any computer to try to brute force attack. So, you know, you would be secure and safe by using the randomly generated password that WordPress creates. But if you want to create a new one, you could always just create it there. Um, and then you just have to make sure to copy it because you don't want, you know, to uh, to lose that uh, to lose that password because it won't display it for you um, later on. So you're going to want to make sure you copy that. So I'm going to copy this username. I'm going to go into my Word doc here. I'm just going to paste the username and I'm going to copy and paste the password and now I'm going to go here and make that account an administrator so add new user so the new user is going to be created and now you see them both here they're both administrators so you would just log out and then you would just log back in so I'm going to well I already have the password so I'll just put that in there the password is saved in my clipboard I'm going to take that username put that there and then login all right so now we have we're logged in as the brand new user so we're going to go to users and look at all users and then you could just delete the admin account here if this is by default already has been set up to like uh to admin or something that's very insecure you could just delete that there uh so you will want to um change all the posts to go towards the other admin user and you would do that by when you click on delete you would either delete all content which you wouldn't want to do you would want to attribute all content to the brand new user so that would be an important step so you would just click on that and then confirm deletion so that goes over the process of how to create a strong password how to test the strength of your passwords or similar passwords and some of the uh, best password managers that are out there for you to use uh, things of that nature and we also went over how to uh, change the admin account because by default you just cannot change the actual name of the username there it's important for all your online websites and identities and uh, accounts that you have unique usernames and passwords uh, and obviously one of the best ways to manage that is with the password manager Let's recap some of the topics here. Strong passwords, use a password manager, create unique passwords for each website, no dictionary words, should be over 14 characters, characters should be a mix of uppercase, lowercase numbers, special characters and symbols. Example of a weak password is something like this, even though it's 10 characters with mixed case and special character and a single number. What you really want is something that looks like this, which is impossible to remember, but also virtually impossible to brute force attack. Um, you also want to make sure you don't use common usernames, and these are some of them here. And these are the steps to 
uh, create a new admin user uh, for your WordPress powered website. So definitely, you know, WordPress uh, security is not that difficult as long as you uh, follow the best practices. And one of the most important practices to follow is to have a unique username and extremely strong and unique password for your website. So hopefully you found this episode helpful where I went over how to uh, create a unique password that is impossible to crack by brute force attack. Um, also how to check the strength of your passwords and also the password managers that I recommend. And finally, how to create the a new admin account uh, for your website on WordPress. Um, if you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I'll give you more uh, tips and tricks on how to secure your website and how to pretty much secure your online identity. And always remember this part as well. Just because you have a very unique password that's very difficult to brute force attack, you should still um, make sure to change your passwords You know, within a certain time frame. Typically, maybe once a month or once every three months, but have a password policy where you change your passwords. All right, again, hopefully you found this episode helpful. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next episode.